In this video, I'll share with you six essential water softener maintenance tips so you can maintain your water softener for your family like a pro. A properly maintained water softener should last 15 to 20 years and you'll save money by not needing to replace it prematurely. By the end of this video, you'll know what tools you need, how and what you need to do it, and how often to properly maintain your water softener. Really, the first step is to know how a water softener works. If you don't know, I've got a great YouTube video that explains the whole process. I'll put a link in the description down below. All water softeners are maintained pretty much the same way, but today we're talking about maintaining the industry's best, the Hume Water Softener, which features the mighty Clack WS1 Water Softener Valve. So adding salt correctly is extremely important. I always suggest using water softener pellets. But before you add salt, it's always a great idea to stir up what's already inside the brine tank, which will keep the salt from clogging. It's always important to consider the type of salt that you use for your water softener. This video will give you more info about the types of salt. Once again, I got a link to the video down below. It's also important to know how much salt you should have in your brine tank. Too much salt and you'll risk a salt clog. Too little and the water in the brine tank will not be touching enough salt to make the proper concentration of brine to regenerate your water softener properly. This video explains how to know how much salt should be in your brine tank for your specific situation. And again, there's a link in the description down below. Your water softener needs to be set to the correct hardness settings. Now to be able to do that, you need to know how hard it is, how much iron and how much manganese there is in your water. I've seen hundreds of water softeners that were installed by others with a factory default setting still in place. This video explains what you need to do with those numbers to set your water softener properly. That way you'll get the most amount of efficiency out of your water softener. And again, link to the video down below. The injector creates the suction to draw the brine from the brine tank into the media tank. If it's dirty like this one, it definitely won't do the job. You need to have it nice and clean like this one, or you need to replace it with a new one. For well water, I suggest you clean or replace it every five years. For city water, it'll last 10 years, no problem. If you're using your water softener to also get rid of iron or manganese in your water, you'll need to clean or replace it likely every two years. Now, once again, I got a great YouTube video that explains the whole procedure, how you can do that for yourself. I'll put a link in the description down below. Now you need to clean out your brine tank if you've currently or have ever used rock salt in your water softener. I suggest you clean it out every five years. Now, if you're on city water, you can get by for once every 10 years. And you guessed it, once again, I got a great YouTube video that shows you exactly how you can do that procedure. Once again, link in the description down below. And a great preventative maintenance pro tip is to run out of salt once a year. Yep, that's right. Run completely out of salt in your water softener once a year, and that way you're filling it with new salt and making a fresh start. I definitely suggest you exercise your bypass at least once every six months. And to do that, you just turn it into the bypass position and then turn it back. And that frees it up to keep it from seizing up. Now, if it's difficult to think about it every six months, you could even do that exercise it every time you add salt. And that way you'll be sure if there's ever a situation where you need to use that bypass, it's not gonna be seized. And when you try to open it up, it's gonna leak. Another great pro tip is adding ResCare annually to clean the media beads in your media tank or more often if your water softener is used to remove iron from your water too. And if you're not sure how to do that, no problem. I got a great YouTube video that shows the whole process, link in the description down below. And if you're looking for more information on this super easy to maintain Hume water softener, you can go to our websites either watereastore.com in the US, watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. Click here for your next video on water softeners and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments? Add them down below.